Alright, alright. Hello, hello. Hotastic here. Now we got a game for you. Now this game is pretty big. This is a big one. Infliction. Extended cut. Now let me check the buttons real quick. Let me see what I'm working with. So what's the use of having this? We need E and F to use. You might as well stay on this side because everything's closer. That's fine. Now when you saw me with the new with the continue, I did go in and see if any glitches or anything that was in it you know because you got just your nvidia settings and blah 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 you don't hear that but whatever this is a place between places here they can only be sightings and resolution this is a oh boy 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 a chromicon that's the book of the day. Some news hot off the presses. This station has received reports that the two lighthouse keepers from Oxford Point Island Lighthouse have vanished. The lighthouse keepers work. You have one unheard message. Two more lighthouse keepers First unheard message. Upon their arrival, they could not find Hi, baby. I'm stuck at the gate and they won't let me through. When you get back home, can you look for my ticket? I must have left them behind. Have a good look around and let me know. Love you. See you soon. End of message. To delete this message, click anywhere. It looks like they were halfway through dinner when something interrupted them. There were no signs of a struggle, and all their belongings were still there, including a journal. Oh, wow, car crash. Them. The journal states several times that the island was talking to them. The most common theory is that the men have suffered from cabin fever and were perhaps accidentally washed out to sea. Other cases like this have been reported on in the past, but have never been fully resolved. A full investigation has begun into this bizarre case. We'll update you as the story progresses. Here we go. Find the plane ticket. Clean, look good. Oh, I already I already like the way that the stuff you need to see is glowing. Look how clever our little girl is. I'm, I'm not sure exactly what's going on here, but she can already draw better than I can. She takes after her daddy. Whoa. That's a 
big box? What is it? Wow, nice rafting skills. Oh my god, a puppy. I can't believe you did this. I love her. I'm gonna call you Sally. <laughs> okay, okay. Now it's time for your gift. What's all that extra noise? Public access. Oh, welcome <coughs> back to Cooking with Massimo. Have you ever come home from a work and found yourself stuck to what to have for dinner? Today, I've been asked to cook with ingredients you found around the house. No pancetta, okay? Are you stupid? <laughs> Get off my TV. Do you, Sarah Angel Adage, take Gary Ryan Powell to be your lawfully wedded husband? Dive into holes from this day forward, for better, for worse, for richer, for poorer, in sickness and in health, until death do you part. I do. What, marriage? That's cool. This house is pretty big. Believe it, Gary. It's not just the two of us anymore. Our family's growing. That 12 hour labor totally worth it. Little Maggie. Love at first sight does exist. And this is the second time I've experienced it. I'm so happy, honey. I know I heard that noise. You're my heart and soul. Love, Sarah. Wow, that's dope. Okay, so we are back at square one. Close you up. Close you. Let's go on upstairs. Don't be afraid. I'm only going out for two hours. If Maggie can't sleep, just read her this book. It works every time. I'll be home before you know it. Dinner's in the oven. Love you. So there is no run. I hope it doesn't require it because man, it's gonna, it's gonna suck. Oh, fat 
are you? Like, what's up with this floor? No, we ain't. Copyright. These extra noises be getting me. So it's gonna happen. Nothing happened. Where are these noises coming from? <clears throat> Excuse me. Can we go outside? New. No. Oh my god, baby. It's perfect. Yes. <laughs> yes, I will. I love you, Gary. That's nice. Zero five one six. Zero five one six. Jeez, huh? This place is huge. And almost everything is, um, Interactive. Oh, that's cool. Zero five one six, though. But I did see there's a lock and key on this thing. Let's try it. Whoa, I didn't even get that close. It's incredible how much stuff you can. Wow. Never mind that. Good lord. Oh, the plane ticket. That's uh, the ticket. What the hell?
just uh I've got the ticket, so maybe we can get out of here. Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! Hey, y'all, what, what are you doing? What's with the mask? Oh, wow! Some mask from Dinos. Oh no! Get the hell out of here! You are absolutely right. Oh! Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! How do I leave? How do I leave? Where is it? Let's go. Boy! Oh, did you see that? Now, now, I just noticed this. If you was to play this beginning over, he's driving to his house. Remember the car accident that was on that tree? That's him. He watched himself smash his own shit up. Just the two of us in here. See you soon. That's crazy. Find a way to vanquish a spirit. Wow, it's a murder scene. Wow, why is everything so busted though? Let's see. A book on the occult? So basically, that Necromicon, the Book of the Dead, is what we're probably looking for. Why is it creaking like that? No. Maybe it's in that box in that one room. I'm 
gonna just let you know, this game has given me the chills, like major goosebumps. Wow, see so the face? Oh my gosh! Why do I keep pushing that button? Alright, well it's not these. Let's keep on. Alright, <laughs> we're not playing that. a sinister picture right there. That drawn creepy. Look at this picture! Wow! That's creepy! Listen up. We've got some news hot off the presses. Tragedy had struck Pleasant Fall. A woman was found murdered in her home. She was brutally stabbed over ten times. The victim's name was Sarah Powell. Sarah managed to make a call to 911 before she succumbed to her injuries. The primary suspect of this brutal murder is believed to be her husband, Gary Pout. He was found deceased only mere blocks away, slumped over the steering wheel of his car after a fatal collision with a tree. The murder weapon was found in the car with him, leading investigators to speculate that he crashed his car while fleeing the scene of the crime. The couple had a daughter believed to be 19 years of age, but police have been unsuccessful in tracking her down. If anyone knows the location, please contact Pleasant Falls PD immediately. It is also believed that Sarah is a victim to domestic abuse. If you or someone you know is suffering from domestic abuse, get help before it's too late. I'm telling you now, the freak out level of this game is incredible. June 6, 1999. My hands are shaking as I write this. Maggie's gone. Michael's gone. And Gary's gone too. At least the man I love is. It's just me and the monster living inside Gary. And the beatings are getting worse and I'm running out of excuses. I'm so tired. The lady next door came over yesterday. She must have heard something. She urged me to call the police, but I just can't do it. I love Gary so much. He's never gotten over Michael leaving us, and he blames me. Maybe it is my fault. All he does is drink, locked in that basement day and night reading those weird books. He's so unhinged now. What do I do? I can't abandon him. I know Gary's in there somewhere, and I'll be right here when he surfaces again. Fuck, this is so hard. I have to stay strong for him. So 
So. that picture. those sounds. So we have no choice but to find something to break this with. These pictures are insane though, I can't get over it. stop right now
found murdered in her home stabbed over 10 times. managed to make a call to 911 had been victim to domestic abuse that was crazy down here soon. These sound effects are A1 horrifying. around. He was gone actually. First of June, 1990. I asked him today what he does down there. He just stared at me silently with pure hatred. 
I don't understand how this happened. I don't know him anymore and sometimes he scares me. He spends all of his time in that basement. Next time he does a beer run, I'm going to sneak down there and look for myself. I trust Gary, but the man I'm living with isn't Gary anymore. I have to keep Maggie safe, if nothing else. I feel real creeped out right now. Like the whole thing, like all of it. Find some of her remains. So I died. First. May I have to let that sequence go? First of June, 1990. I asked him today what he does down there. He just stared at me silently with pure hatred. I don't understand how this happened. I don't know him anymore and sometimes he scares me. He spends all of his time in that basement. Next time he does a beer run, I'm going to sneak down there and look for myself. I trust Gary, but the man I'm living with isn't Gary anymore. I have to keep Maggie safe, if nothing else. Okay. So... She came from this way. Isn't that her right there? Switch the camera, press C. Good Lord. See you again. 
can. Oh, take what you eat. All right. Welcome back to Cooking with Massimo. You have the ingredients to cook something truly special. Here we have some chicken been marinating overnight with some chicken. This liquid gives it a really nice salty flavor. I want to tell you how to get this from your but I think you know how I did. And next we want Like I want to keep watching? Now uh, you toss it into the pan and you drown it beer in a bourbon. It's a time for a drinking now. You can leave it at a chicken and head out to the bar. You check on your later when you come back home. That's all from me. And come back next week and I'll show you how to really punish some lamb. Wow. A spokesperson from the CADV, or Citizens Against Domestic Violence, had mentioned during a press statement that it's easy to turn a blind eye to domestic violence by explaining away the problem. Is drink. You monster. I can't live like this anymore. Ooh. Let's just keep moving. Let's keep moving. Oh my gosh. Did I mess up? No. Didn't I do that already? Honey, it's been four years. I need you and I love you more than I can express. Please, please get some help. They have a clinic and... No, please listen. Don't get angry. No, please.
find some of her remains. Where would he be? I'm not the one with problems. I just need to numb the pain. Damn. It's the only thing I can do to not feel. Shit! You know what sucks? That she goes through all this stuff. And still... There's gotta be something I deal with here. Right? That's real creepy, like... What? There's a tooth? Oh no! to domestic violence all you do is drink I need you and I love you more than I can express I don't understand how this happens sometimes he scares me I just feel like I'm in pain this guy going through some things Find a photo of the deceased. More than likely in, the, in a drawer. So he's in his own basement again. Way to go. What? 
That's the only way to go. Upstairs. She downstairs. Oh my gosh, it's like somebody's trying to follow me right now. This was a room that I walked by that was already locked. I told you I was sleeping. He was out with Maggie getting ice cream or something. I, I don't know. I was asleep. Look, my baby boy just died, and I don't know how. What kind of God would kill an innocent baby? I didn't kill my son. Yes, I had postnatal depression, but I'm telling you, what kind of life? I had a strange feeling something was wrong. And I ran to his room and I found his crib pillow. His lifeless body. investigation has begun into the tragic death of a six-month-old baby boy. The father was out with their six-year-old daughter buying groceries. When they returned home, they found the mother of the child holding the infant in her arms. Authorities have taken the mother in for questioning, but she has since been released. A spokesperson for Pleasant Falls PD told us that the death has been ruled accidental. However, the investigation is ongoing. It's believed that faulty nursery equipment may have failed causing this tragedy. InfoCare has issued a full recall on all their bassinets in accordance with the ongoing investigation. Our best wishes and condolences go out to the family involved in this tragedy.
Damn. I don't know I'm not saying much because, good lord, like, do I need to? I don't know if you noticed, but this flashlight looked mad dim from the first time I picked it up. Hide where? Holy shit, black. I don't know where to go. I'm just walking around. She's chasing me! 
I'm dead. I'm dead. I'm dead. I'm dead. I'm hiding my face. I'm dead. I am so freaking out right now, you have no idea. I just seen her. I just seen her at the corner of the door. She's at she's right outside the door. Um, okay guys. I don't know what to do. Yeah, I don't know what to do. Oh my gosh, let me, let me, let me, let me relax a little bit. Let me, let me relax, give me a second. Um, yes, I think I'm gonna pause it right now. Um, I'm really freaking out, sorry, um, but it is, what it is. Um, Go to options and I'm, I'm gonna go ahead and hold it down for a little bit. Um, there's no way to save it. Is there a way to save it? Main menu. Oh my gosh, man. Like, salute to the people that can go through it and finish the whole thing because I'm gonna take a break for my sanity. But this is an awesome game, and I have to finish it. So this is a part one. But with that being said, I'm Hotastic. This game is creepy. And I'm gone.